For months, the Twitter sphere has been all in a tizzy about billionaire Elon Musk and his proposal for an ultra-high-speed transportation system for California he calls the Hyperloop. The basic concept is a system capable of speeding passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco, a distance of 500 kilometers, in 30 minutes, traveling at about 1,000 kilometers an hour. It's as cost me a Concorde, a rail gun, and an air hockey table. <laughs> Musk has finally released drawings of his proposed system. Speaking on a conference call, he said Hyperloop cars like these would zip along using powerful electromagnetic motors and a pressurized column of air moving through a sealed low tube mounted on pylons. You know, it's like being in an airplane. It would just feel extremely smooth, like, like you're riding on a cushion of air, really. But can it work? Mr. Musk has shown a lot of skill when it comes to technical innovation. Uh, when he raises his hand and says, I've got something important to report, I'm inclined to pay attention. But I can't help but be skeptical about a real breakthrough in technology. Indeed, at age 42, Musk has an impressive track record. He co-founded the PayPal online money transfer system in the late 90s, sold it for over a billion dollars, and then went on relentlessly innovating and entrepreneuring. First with SpaceX, the top private space flight company, which supplies cargo to the International Space Station. Then he created Tesla Motors, which makes zippy all-electronic performance sports cars. The Hyperloop, if it ever materializes, would beat existing ways of getting from point A to point B. It takes six or seven hours now to drive from L.A. to San Francisco. Planes can do it better at an hour and a half. And California's still-to-be-constructed high-speed rail system would take three hours, but that won't be finished till 2029. Musk plans to build a working prototype within three years, but he says he doesn't want to build the entire Hyperloop himself. He says he'll put his designs and ideas online for anyone to see in hopes that someone turns the concept into a reality. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.